Alright, big boss battle coming. If you couldn't tell, I'm letting you know. Boss battle. Hey, what's up fam? How you doing? You know what time it is. It's time for a reaction. You know it. Glad you came back. If it's your first time, subscribe, keep coming back. If you like the video, like it, comment, helps with the algorithm as I have heard. Avatar, 2009, long movie. What's that? It says two hours and 58 minutes. Here we go. Let's get into it. So these guys just pulled him from the bar. What are they showing him? It looks like a dead body place, a place where they have dead bodies. You know, a dead body place. Damn, that's that's him. Twin brother. It's gotta be a twin brother. Your genome is identical to his. You could step into his shoes. A fresh start in a new world. You could do something important. You could make a difference. He said all he wanted was something to fight for. That's all he's been looking for his entire life. Me, I was just another dumb grunt getting sent someplace he was gonna regret. Okay, so his brother was a scientist. He he was smart. He was looking for the answers in the universe, in space, and uh, he himself solely believes he's just a dumb grunt. So, pretty much complete opposite, right? Complete opposite. More like a fifth of tequila and an ass kicking. He just said that's been six years, and he said it was like this, like it was nothing. Like it doesn't feel like you went to sleep, he said. Yeah, we're there, sunshine. We're there. You didn't cry for five years, nine months, and 22 days. You will be hungry. You will be weak. Wait, yo, by the way, by the way, I've been wondering this my entire life because I've been, my entire life shown cryo stuff. Is cryo stuff not real? I know it's not real right now, but can it not become real? Is it real? Why is it in so many movies and, and, and shows and stuff? Oh, dude. Dude, what? <laughs> you are not in Kansas anymore. Yo, dude, that's crazy. You got arrows in those big ass tires and that truck just showed up. I'd be like, where am I? What's happening? If there is a hell, you might want to go there for some R&R &R after a tour on Pandora. <laughs> oh, it's called the Navi. They're fond of arrows dipped in a neurotoxin that'll stop your heart in one minute. What? Bones reinforced with naturally occurring carbon fiber. Their bones have naturally occurring carbon fiber? Bro! They probably don't break their bones ever. That's crazy. Bodies called avatars. And they're grown from human DNA mixed with the DNA of the natives. Hey, welcome. That's so cool, right? Mixed DNA with the natives and humans so they can actually, I guess, link into these machines. That's cool, man. Looks like you. This is your avatar now, Jake. That's cool, they look like them. Wow, so they have to learn their language to be able to speak to them. Yo, know, interesting fact, I just wanted to say real quick. I saw Matt Damon say in an interview on YouTube somewhere, I don't even know where, that James Cameron actually offered him if you join, we'll give you 10% of Avatar, like of, and he turned it down. That's crazy. Now I see that you're intentionally screwing me. Grace, you know, I enjoy our little talks. Oh, dude, that's not cool. He's about to sink a putt. I'm assigning him to your team as security escort. The last thing I need is another trigger happy moron out there. Look, Yo, that's kind of true what she just said. She's worried about the way he thinks compared to them, which are scientists that go out there and interact with the Navi. Whereas he is an ex-Marine and might just like do the wrong thing. You know what I mean? He's, he, he might not be ready for this. She's worried about that. I think she should be. Unobtainium. Because this little gray rock sells for 20 million a kilo. That's the only reason. It's what pays for the whole party. It's what pays for your science. Comprendo? Now those- Dude, that's so cool, man. It was like floating. How much link time have you logged? Uh, about 520 hours. How much have you logged? Zip. But I read a manual. Tell me you're joking. 
<laughs> He's like, I read a manual. We should be good. Just relax and let your mind go blank. It shouldn't be hard for you. I guess the darkest part of my little wife. Oh, dude. She said it wouldn't be hard for you to just like <laughs> see darkness or to go blank. She's saying he's got nothing in his head. He's a dummy. That's a gorgeous brain. Nice activity. Mm. Huh. Figure. All right. So in your face, scientist. In your face. Oh, dude. Dude, could you imagine transferring your consciousness to like a robot and then moving it and then be able to go back into your body? It really maybe would look like a portal or something like that. You blur your reflexes good. Oh, he's gonna be so happy to be able to run around and walk and everything. Doing, Jake? He's gonna love it. You're dizzy at all? Are you wiggling your toes? Good. good. <laughs> Just a motor control. Oh, I did. Sedate! Sedate him! A thousand milligrams of something. Damn, dude, they're gonna sed sedate him! Jake! Jake! Listen to me, oh. you're not used to your avatar body. This is dangerous. This is great. Jake! <laughs> they're gonna put you out. Jake! Listen. <laughs> they're gonna put you out, man. Oh, there's other avatars playing oh, basketball. Got no That's cool. Oh, oh! Damn, you said you ain't got no skills today. You throw it off the backboard like that? Come on, man. Come on, sis. Wow, there's a bunch of avatars out there, actually. Jake. Like training and getting used to these bodies. That's insane. Could you even think of the infiltration you could do to future alien civilizations? Or, oh my god, imagine if aliens are doing that with human avatar bodies coming down here and infiltrating our lives and our government and stuff like that. That was a whoa moment I just had. Well, who'd you expect, numb nuts? <laughs> Don't play with that, you'll go blind. That's kind of freaky. Come on. She wasn't talking about his tail, right? When she said you'll go blind, playing with that you'll go blind. She was talking about something else, right? It makes me think of like playing with your, you know? You know how like that saying, you'll go blind? If you play with yourself? <laughs> the Avatar program is a bad joke. Bunch of Olympic science majors. Olympic science majors? Those science majors actually are who made Viagra. It actually made it not limp, huh? Yeah, think about that. I don't want you to gain their trust. I need to know how to force their cooperation or hammer them hard if they won't. Wow. With Augustine? On paper. You walk like one of her science pukes. You quack like one. But you report to me. Wow. Do you do that for me, son? Hell yeah, sir. All right, so that's interesting. You know, he's saying, like, you're going to listen to me, but you're going to act like you're working underneath the main scientist. And another interesting thing is he said... We want to try to find out how to make them cooperate or we're going to lay the hammer down on them. Conflict coming. Cut it down. We're going to stay a while. Dude, you see the guy that doesn't have an avatar suit? No. Even the chick flying the plane, I'd be like, give me an avatar suit. This is dangerous areas. Let me... But they're super expensive. They, they would never do that. They would never do that. They, they would have... People that aren't so expensive Man, that, going out there. Like that guy's salary is way less than building him an avatar to let him go out there, right? The avatars are for them to actually get the tasks and stuff done there that they need to do and get done. To cooperate with the Navi. To try to get that unobtainium. I think that's what he called it. They're not aggressive. Relax, Marine. You're making me nervous. Yeah, relax, numb nuts. Field microscope. Here. Oh, I love this one. Synchronicity. I uh, I just went the, the last movie I just watched. No joke. It might not get released in the right order, but was Dr. Seuss. How the Grinch stole Christmas. What happened here? Are you gonna help us with this gear? We've got a lot to do. Come on, he just asked a question. You you can't answer him. Come on now. If you can't answer, then that means something really bad happened there. Dude, that's a strange world. You can't just go walking around, man. Something bad might happen here. What you doing, brother? What you doing? Oh, 
Oh shit. That's crazy, dude. Defensive mechanism of some sort. Damn, dude, that thing's huge. It looks like it's got armor all over it. Don't shoot, you'll piss him off. <laughs> Territorial threat display. Do not run or he'll charge. Hey. So what do I do, dance with it? Just hold your ground. Hold his ground with what? <laughs> Snap, dude! He did hold his ground. Bring back some of your friends, huh? Dude, that thing looks scary, man. Oh wow! It's not going for him. It's going for those beasts. Run for your life, brother! Run! Don't forget to bob and weave. And find your innermost gazelle. All right, and get going. Oh, snap, it took his gun. How's he gonna get out of this is what I'm wondering. Cause this is cray cray. Get up, run, get up, get up. As long as there's water at the bottom, that's a good way to get away. If there's not water at the bottom of that, <laughs> That's, a, that's called death. That's what that's called. Oh, a little hidden message maybe? Huh? Saying he's not bad, don't do it? Wow, I got goosey bumps from that. Wow, that's interesting. So she listened to a like insect flying by. Probably the equivalent of a butterfly, maybe? You know, a joyful sight when you see a butterfly, sometimes you think like, you don't think make a wish, but you know what I mean. Like you think of like a fantastical life or something like that. So she's good with a bow, we know that. If you can shoot stuff while you're on the run with a bow, then you're good with a bow. Damn, she's got teeth too, man. They just got some big old teeth. Like sharp teeth. Yo, they're not showing me what she's saying. They're not showing me what it means. What's up with that? Am I gonna be able to hear her talk? Or see her talk? Wait a second. Hey, where are you going? Just, hey, slow down. Wait up, I just wanna say thanks for killing those things. Ah! Damn! <laughs> Damn is right, dude. You just got whacked. Go back. Maybe every time those things come around, it like means something. Like to these people, to the Navi. Maybe it means like magical spiritual stuff is, is around. Is around. <laughs> he just wanted it. As I was saying that, he just no. Oh, he did it again. Maybe they symbolize to these people like there's something good around right now. When those things show up, good energy, right? Something like that. Yeah, look, they're all around him. Ooh, she's gonna be like. <gasps> seeds of the sacred tree. Very pure spirits. Yeah, see? See what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, dude, those horses got six feet. What's going on? Wait, what's happening? Hey! What's happening is you might be a prisoner now, my dude. Let's hope not, fingers crossed. But, uh, yeah. That is mother. She is Sakik. The one who interprets the will of Ewa. Who's Ewa? I'm, gu I'm, I'm guessing like God. Ewa. It's like God. Or something like that. Oh my god, what was that, dude? That was the... Hard to fill a cup which is already full. My cup is empty. Trust me. Just ask Dr. Augustine. 
I'm no scientist. What are you? Y'all, I like that. I like what she said right there. You can't fill a full cup. Is that what she said? She said something like that, which is like, you already think you know everything. You can't, we can't teach you anything. And that's what she said a lot of Sky people are like. <laughs> I mean, how do you not step on a tail? Look, look, look how many tails are probably there. The whole floor is covered with tails. That was like super easy for her, but like really hard for him. He, he, he doesn't know how to be a Navi, right? So she's gonna have to teach him. Oh, here you go. Jake. See what I'm saying? That's so strange. So he, he fell asleep out there and then wakes up here, just like he did earlier. That makes sense, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is the avatar safe? <laughs> yeah, doc. And you are not gonna believe where I am. <laughs> you just find me a carrot that'll get them to move. Otherwise, it's gonna have to be all stick. Okay. They got analogies in this movie, man. That's the second one that I'm like, that was good. So who's this Awa? Who's Awa? <laughs> Only their deity, their goddess, made up of all living things, everything they know. Knock it off. It's like kindergarten around here. No, Norm is upset that he doesn't know anything and like. It's going really well for him right now with the clan and all. And it's the stuff that they are studying and he just showed up and he's like already like in their culture, already infiltrated their culture the way that these scientists probably want to. So Nor Norm's being a little ding dong. He's being a little jealous ding dong a little bit. Ugh. Oh, that looked creepy for some reason. Look gross. Little furry moving things. Feel her heartbeat. Her breath. You may tell her what to do. Inside. Through that link. With those little furry things. He he's able to make her move. Like be one with her. She knew I was talking to the colonel. But I had what she needed. A way back in with the clan. So she's playing nice. All right. So he just said she knew. That, th that he's talking to the military. Latiri calls me scoundrel. It means moron. <laughs> I see into you. I see. It's good he's back on board, but he thinks I'm a scoundrel too. You. you gotta get this, okay? All you guys at home, I see you. All right, I see. You. <laughs> when, when the bow hits first, that means you did it wrong. He tried to walk it off like like it was like that was nothing. Nah, bro, that was fail army, and we all know it. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> what? Did you see that? She noticed it too. She noticed. What did happen at the school, Grace? Oh, that was the school with the bullets, and he's wondering what happened. I guess they thought I could protect them. The troopers pursued them to the school. They killed Sawanan in the doorway, oh. right in front of Natiri. Oh. And then shot the others. Oh! Damn. Damn, just because they set fire to a bulldozer, dude. You can't be taking lives just because of that. A clean kill. What's that mean? A clean kill makes you ready? What's a clean kill? So I'm guessing a clean kill is without a bunch of suffering and stuff. You make it quick and easy and thankful. <laughs> Dude, I don't think so, man. You can keep your dragons. I don't need to ride one. If this is how you gotta get up there, Oh no, dude, this is what he's walking into? Nah, bro. And earlier she said, don't look him in the eye. Remember that? So they must be dangerous. Let's dance. That's his dragon. Let's see what happens. Did that poop's gone. <laughs> that moron's gonna die. Uh. 
Shut up and fly straight! Alright. He said it. Now it's doing it. Looks like a good bond, right? Looks like it's working out. They're like cheering his name and stuff and the other guy got pissed. Ah, oh, shit, she was flirting with him. Oh, God. That's a strange structure, right? What's up with this structure right here? Makes me think like a past civilization was on this planet at some point, like ancient aliens. Okay, Jakey boy. I see you, I see you. She said, hell yeah. She said, hell yeah, dude. I love it. Oh, oh Lordy Lord. Oh, man, that thing's like three times the size of the other ones. Look how big that thing is. And they're flying through the trees and everything. It gives no fucks about the trees. That was a big boy. The well, guys call it a greatly in Opterix. It is Doruk. Last shadow. Yo, even his guys call it something. Because it's so freaking big and awesome. He, even the humans gave it a name. Give me good, usable intel. Oh, this tree is soul's place. Yeah, I got them by the balls with that. When this turns into a shit fight, which it will. <laughs> he's, he's not liking that. You can see it on his face. He's not liking that. He knows that, like... He doesn't want those people to get hurt. 